Karen's Death here, and today I'm checking out the official release to Hellsweeper. The time has come, and not, it's not a Dave Micro reference, to finally jump back into it. We played a demo of it, which was a bit unusual because I don't really do that nowadays, but I truly feel like this experience is not like the other and so much catering to my taste that I just thought it deserved a special treatment prior to the release. Today we'll be seeing the quest version and we'll have a lot to talk about because the trailer <laughs> It's... it's something. <laughs> now, let me say first what I like about it. The visual clarity and transparency of stages is, for me, very well balanced. Even though it will be like underground where there's no sun or anything of the sort, then it should be a dark themed game. I like that the devs kept it much lighter and a complete turn off of the shadows didn't really translate it to dark blocky textures running at you. I think that would be that, honestly, cause this is literally one of the most downgraded visuals I've seen comparing the two. It's not even it's low quality, it's just that when I look at the models I can't recognize them at all because it's just so patchy and blurry like it's not the same characters that I've seen on PC VR and that's kind of the problem like I don't mind having graphics low fidelity and stuff but make it recognizable at least because then the immersion is just gone the effects and the lightning I mean that was like expected after all it's a physics based game so it still does perform better than Blade and Sorcery and all of that because so many mechanics and features are packed into this like you see on the gameplay it's gonna be chunky, but at least there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on knowing the silent deaths like the variety. Overall, this is a clear decision to do the playthrough or whatever is gonna be happening. With the better equipment, question now is gonna be is it really like a campaign-wise centered game or an arcade action slasher with roguelike elements? I don't know, I can't tell. Let's go kidding! Okay, I did play through the tutorials, also the advanced ones, because I was confused how to do the advanced moment that we'll be doing today. <laughs> I guess I'm seeing it's only roguelike mode for now. If in the future we'll have a campaign or not, I don't know. But essentially... Maybe this is actually a campaign, I don't know. It's like so weirdly worded, especially because it says for how the cool this you need to unlock the run. So there is some kind of content to play through. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room and those are the graphics. I know perfect reference. It's the wizard graphics essentially. Like it's the exact same sharp edges, low quality textures, but playing through the tutorials and stuff, I realized that the mechanics and the gameplay overall was very much upgraded and it's much more pleasant to play, so... What, can I ride it? <laughs> like... So let's just do this, we'll just uh, play. <laughs> That's what we're here for. A fresh start. Good luck. Look for the stone hand to collect your starting skills and rewards. Jesus! I'm sliding automatically. Gain health equal to your mana. Oh, okay. That's more convenient. But what about the weapons? Hello? So it's either magic, guns, swords... We'll stick with wrench stuff for now.
All Jews do everything. But I would want... Ah, it's inverted. Can I like switch the controls overall? I don't know how to. I'm trying to switch it, but... <laughs> Fine. So we're starting. More health spawn on the way. Points just like in Sorrento. This is chaotic. And the weapon summoning kind of inconsistent. It works. It's just a million to go. Let's roll. A lot still. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll be playing it on PC VR or PSVR, I mean, I have now the ability to do both. Do I have chests here? Oh, it's here, okay. So I just need two keys. Gain passes to the shop. Ah. Holy! I think I need to turn up the sliding. That feels more comfortable. And it only works when it's on the side. Cool. Homing bullet. What the? <laughs> you really need to read because you won't discover the further mechanics. I mean, this is mana, keys. Better to do it later. Watch your back. Oh. 
I mean, I'm getting wobbly <laughs> doing the somersault, but that's not weird. <laughs> like, it's fairly normal. But comparing with the demo, the aiming and the connections work better all across the board. Ammo always running low. Time to brush up on your reloading skills. What's in store for you this time? I guess I need to destroy them all for more gold but it's the overview we're not playing that seriously blade wave random trade <laughs> Horizontally to my chest. Do I need to hold it to me? Not really. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many skills. Okay, well, that's cheating. <laughs> Speed is key. Gather the trove's missing puzzle pieces to claim your rewards. Whoa, they're shooting at me. Where is it? <laughs> it's like disappeared. It's not done. <laughs> That's fine. So was that just like a bonus stage? I guess. Spilling out these walls to lock your totems. Break all of them.
can't touch me. the guns to be more consistent, I guess. Who are they? <laughs> Interesting that the positions are important here. Doggo. <laughs> Listen, I need to destroy this. Hello, HP. Guns are in a new gun, might work, but it's not efficient. I just need to listen to the instructions. Enhance your skills, Hell Sweeper. Where's my ducky? It's also like the objectives change. Eliminations would be the easiest. What's this? What is that? So it doesn't matter. The models are chunky.
I'm sure you don't need a break. Uh, we're close to the boss fight and I need to end now, so let's just do a quick pickup. Because I just want to see and stuff. Oh, it's like a flank house. I mean, I'm just shooting up until my magazines runs out. I'm just walking. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. What are my thoughts? Um the game's okay, I mean, in terms of the mechanics and features, that's what I expected. Because the graphics are downgraded, is that the vibe and the ambience and all of that is... It doesn't exist. <laughs> so like, while the action, shooting and just mayhem destruction is cool and all, there's nothing besides it, so... I will see what I can do on other platforms. I enjoy it, but it's hard to pinpoint what's so special about it, at least on the quest version, so that kind of sucks, I guess. But besides the visuals, the game is solid. From the demo, it is very much upgraded with the mechanics and just the connections. Everything's fine.